What's up guys? It's the Potato Nader and I'm trying something new. I definitely wanted to start doing reviews for games, reviews of trailers here on the channel. Uh, what better place to start than with PlayStation Showcase games that came out last Wednesday. They gave us a lot of good games to look at and the one that I wanted to do today is near and dear to me. It's Alan Wake 2. Uh, super fan of the series so I'm hoping that the game itself delivers. Uh, we're gonna watch the trailer here uh, and then afterwards I'll go back and point stuff out and things like that. So if you've already seen the trailer in full uh, and you just want to jump to me talking, there'll be a timestamp down in the description below. So let's get to it. I'm trapped here in this nightmare. I write to escape. Every word is a step forward. <gasps> into darkness. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. So you knew our victim? Only the rumors. He was chasing a writer. Someone knew they were here. Was playing a game with them. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. We were all trapped in a horror story. The horror story wanted us dead. There's something. I forget it. Something important. Something's not right! Easy now. First things first. What's your name? Alright man, that looks amazing. Um, so I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Uh, some things that maybe people don't know about Alan Wake. Uh, and we'll go through the trailer here. We're gonna go back here always, all the way to the beginning. Uh, too far. Uh <laughs> I'm trapped here. In this nightmare. I write to escape. Every word is a step forward. And the darkness. All right, so right there, right away, he mentions darkness. That's uh, from the first game. It's the power of the the AWE. If you don't know what AWE stands for, it's called an altered world event. We learned that from the game Control. Uh, Control deals a lot with those and uh, with the DLC. They actually put Alan Wake and they started their kind of remedy verse with all of this. Um, let's keep going. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Okay, right there, <clears throat> we see that he's still, and he talked about it a little bit in the first hand, he's still trapped in, for lack of a better term, the lake house. And the lake house is a AWE event that was like in the center of this massive storm in the first game. And in the first game, he literally is trapped in this house and is writing this story that you are playing as and you find pages um, that detail the events that you've already gone through. <clears throat> so you knew our victim. Only the rumors. He was chasing a writer. Someone knew they were here. Was playing a game with them. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. So right there, that just confirms what I just previously said, is that he is writing this quote-unquote book and that's what we're going to be doing through is we're going to be playing through the game and we're going to be finding these pages that are about either an event that we have already experienced or an event that will happen. 
We were all trapped in a horror story. The horror story wanted us dead. This, when I first watched the trailer, caught me really off guard. I wasn't expecting Resident Evil 4 remake style visuals and like camera control. Like this looks amazing. Okay, and right there, let me, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna back that up just a little bit. See if I go, oh, perfect. Um, you can see automatically that this is, uh, obviously it's one of the characters, uh, the enemy characters that is shrouded in darkness. And that's, hopefully light's gonna play a huge part in this, uh, like it did in the first one. Um, the enemies in the first game were shrouded in darkness. You couldn't do any damage to them until you basically lit them up and burned the darkness away. So that that hopefully that's the mechanic stays and is improved upon. There's something I'm forgetting. Something important. Yeah. Once again, see that big nice shadow there, full of darkness. So uh, I mean, she, you can see it. she's got the flashlight in her hand. So you know that uh, definitely definitely is going to have to be in play here. Something's not right. Man, that always gets me every time I watch the trailer. That that's a lot of arms. Uh, <laughs> uh, it also looks like it's a mirror image. Like you see this here, and then you see it here. It's flipped. So you have the three arms on this side, three on this side. Whereas she's got two. Looks like two, and then two on this side. Something's not right. Yep. And then right there, that confirms the flashlight. There, she's burning the darkness away from this enemy obviously so easy now first things first what's your name now i don't know about this because this literally looks like we busted him out of the lake house the lake house is an awe he got caught there even <sighs> jesse couldn't kind of help him but again she was trapped in the oldest house quite different um i don't know what's happening here man of course that's the end of the trailer so i don't i can't wait for this game um hoping remedy puts this you know don't don't know where this timeline goes in concern of the awe dlc for control because he's still trapped in the lake house in that DLC and he's writing that story that you are playing out. It's the same same kind of scenario as he writes um, as Jesse's listening through the hotline about him because that's what it seemed like he was able to communicate through the hotline instead of different, you know, like the normal pages and he was making that story. So hopefully we'll see what happens. Um, I, like I said, can't wait for this game. I'm a huge Alan Wake fan. It, it just looks great. Um, but thanks very much for listening to me talk about Alan Wake 2. I'm hoping the game is great. If you have any questions, comments, uh, put those comments down below. Let me know what you thought about uh, the Alan Wake trailer. Let me know if you have any opinions of what I said, if you have any contradictions, if you know, wanna let me know about information, Put it all down in the comments below. Let me also know what game you were excited for that came out of the PlayStation Showcase, or maybe it didn't come out of the Showcase, and it's something that you thought should have been in the Showcase. Let me know about that too down below. But again, thank you very much for listening to me talk. Uh, it was great. Um, and as always, I'll be back. See you guys.